Hi! Uh, I am still working on the pick and place machine. I don't have another official episode about that yet because I don't have enough footage or uh, dialogue explaining it to really justify a full episode yet. But I do have the z-axis and part rotation all worked out. Uh, top vision, bottom vision, a uh, holder for the uh, Lixi boards and feeder, uh, uh, just a strip feeder for now. That is all working. I have a huge 3D print enclosure for an MKS uh, driver board for the steppers, and the whole housing got taller. I will explain that all soon, but for now what I want to show you is uh, footage of it working. Uh, if I can, I don't know yet how this YouTube community, like, story style videos work. Uh, but if I can, I'll attach footage of it working after th after this one. Oh, uh, and if not, I'll, I'll figure it out. Th there will be a link or something weird somewhere, but... Check it out. This is, th th wherever it is, how the machine works. <laughs> Yay! Addendum. This machine has major problems um, as far as like accuracy goes on pick and place. Uh, there is major flex in these linear, these long linear rails, which means any quick movement uh, or imbalance of weight leads to parts not being picked or placed that well. So, as much as this series was supposed to be about me converting this uh, defunct pick, uh, laser cutting machine into a pick and place, it'll probably end up becoming uh, a series about me making a pick and place out of whatever frame I decide to, re like the XY I decide to replace this with. Because uh, the head is modular, I can just put it on something else. So, ew. Uh, so, uh, there will be another episode soon, uh, but uh, probably within the next week. I can't say for sure, but I am still working on it, and I've really appreciated the feedback so far uh, for both the insanely large Ender version of it and this more efficient one. So, I will <laughs> I'll see you soon.